Today we're going to demonstrate how to set limit switches either on the classic Lodestar or the new Lodestar. It doesn't matter what model you have, they're the same type of limit switch. The first thing you want to do to set your limit switch is to run your hook to the up position and position the hook where you want it. Typically we like to see the hook at a minimum of an inch and a half to three inches away. In this particular case, I want that hook set right before the chain bag so we don't run the load into the chain bag. Power the unit off and ensure your power is off. We're gonna go over to our demonstration unit on the table for ease of showing. Look at our limit switch. We'll find where it says upper limit switch. Remove the keeper bar. It's just two nuts in the top and the front. And we wanna travel this nut over to the micro switch. We can either hear the click or we can put our ohms meter on the two leads and look for continuity. And when the continuity kicks off, we know we're on that limit. So there, I heard the click. That just set our, where our up, upper position on our limit switch. And we gotta ensure that we put the keeper bar back on and tighten it up. Put the cover back on the unit power the unit back up, and check your upper limit. In this case, let's run the hook about two feet down, and then go back up to ensure that that's where you want the upper hook. And there, you can see that the power is kicked out and the hook is exactly where I want it. To set your lower limit, lower your hook down to where you want the power to kick off. Okay, in this particular case, I'm gonna lower this hook just about to where it touches the floor. When you do this, you wanna ensure you have enough chain in the hoist, at least eight to 10 links in the chain bag or in the loose end of the hoist to do this. And in this case, I'd like my hook to be right at the floor level and want the power to cut out right there. So that's where I'm gonna set my lower limit. Again, we're gonna cut the power off before we work on the hoist and be sure that there is no power so that we can safely work on the unit. Come over to your limit switch and you want to remove the keeper bar again. And be careful not to move the traveling nut for the upper side. Remove the keeper bar and then travel your nut over to the lower limit side. And once you hear that click from the micro switch or you can use your continuity check with your ohms meter and once you have no continuity you know you're on that limit switch. Put your keeper bar back on. Resecure it by tightening the nuts. Put your cover back on the hoist, repower your unit back up. Come up about two feet so we come off that switch and then come back down. Perfect, that's exactly where we want to hook. And that's it, that's how we set the limit switches on the CM Classic Lodestar or the CM New Lodestar.